Welcome to Seriously Podcast. If you're new to the show, we recap web series and discuss our questions, comments, and concerns. Yeah, you can find us on iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher, and Google Play at Seriously Podcast. Go ahead and hit the like button, rate, review, and subscribe. Also, check out our website at seriouslypodcast.com. You can chat with us, send us your QCCs, and subscribe to our email list. Thanks again for tuning in and enjoy the show. Quick disclaimer, we're a hot-ass mess, so don't judge us. <laughs> if you want the tea, want the tea uh, come uh, get with Seriously. Uh, seriously uh, talking uh, about your favorite uh, web series. Uh, all right, all right. right here on Seriously. Uh, seriously. Uh, uh, just relax. Uh, we got recaps, we got recaps, take your mind and have a good time, right here on Seriously. Right, hey guys, I'm Brittany. And I'm Mary. And welcome to Seriously Podcast. Um, today we're continuing our separate side chick recast with episodes six and seven. And we noticed a couple of these characters need a bit more guidance. Maybe if they had an auntie around, they wouldn't, you know, get into the yes, situation yes. they're in right now. They need the Lord. They, but yeah. Yeah. But maybe a good auntie, auntie with some advice would <laughs> yeah. give, give, give them some help. So today with us, we are so excited because we have some of the ladies from the hilarious Central TV series, Axe Auntie in the building. Hey! hey. hey. <laughs> um... Welcome. Yes, Thank you welcome, guys for being welcome. here. Thank you so much for having us. Yes. If you want to introduce yourselves real quick. Well, I'm Auntie Leanda, and I'm more of the straight shooter. Mm-hmm. So if your boyfriend cheats on you, quit him. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I'm Auntie Wendy, and I'm more of the voice of reason uh-huh. between my two crazy ass sisters. Okay. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. And okay. our sister Fran, yes. who brings lots of color to the group. Mm-hmm. Um, in more ways than one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Unfortunately, she couldn't be here, but she will be tuning in. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. Hey, y'all, friends. So with all of our guests, the first question we always ask is, what was the first web series you ever watched or got hooked on? Um, ask Auntie. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. That's shame. It's so funny because I really didn't even know about the whole genre. Like, mm-hmm. I'm also probably, well, Fran is the oldest. <laughs> um, <laughs> She's not here to defend herself. We're a year apart, but we're the Six older months. of the three. So, um, you see, I couldn't figure out how to get the Wi Fi on mm-hmm. and everything. So, the web series thing had escaped me really um, until we started doing the Ask Auntie. So, I'm not really familiar with a lot of the web series, mm-hmm. but I watched this episode six and seven, and it made me want to go back and watch the others because. I was a little confused, but we'll right. get into that later. Yeah, okay. So, you know, I'll save that for later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, can you guys talk a little bit about, about um, your show, Ask Auntie, and how you guys got started and everything? Well, um, we got started actually in somewhat in Fran's living room um, because she would always have girls' night at least like once a month. And um, we would be like, balled over holding our stomachs laughing at each other for no like (laughs) apparent reason Mm -hmm. just like we were making ourselves laugh that hard and Tiffany said which is Wendy's daughter said you know what one day I'm gonna tape y'all but we didn't really pay much attention to it yeah girl okay whatever and she started working for this show Crazy Talk Mm -hmm. um And after Crazy Talk, we went to visit her up in Connecticut at the show. And after Crazy Talk, they had something called The Box. So once the show is over, they take people from the audience and they put you in this little box. Mm -hmm. And basically, they ask you all these random questions. It had nothing to do with the show, just random questions. And they put us, the three of us, in this box. Together. And it was tight. And (laughs) oh my God, it was tight. It was hot as hell. But... And they asked us these random, yeah. sexual, all kind of off-the-wall questions. And we were sober. And we were sober at that time. <laughs> and um, and we had a ball answering the questions, but we then realized that each one of our perspective was mm-hmm. just totally different from the, the other. Right. And the executive producer, the guy that was taping us, was that... Um, I don't remember. Who. The gentleman. That was taping us? No. Was that Zach? 
No. Okay, well, no. he was, the, the cameraman was so, he, he, he couldn't compose himself because <laughs> we made him, and we were just really being honest. Yeah. So um, when he got out, when we finished, he got, he went and told everybody, you got to see this, you got to see this. And the executive producer came over and he said, Yo, these girls have chemistry. Like these ladies have some chemistry. We need to do something with them. And ironically, the show actually didn't do well. So uh, they, the sh they closed the show, okay. and Tiffany on her on her on her hiatus from working, she decided to do a web series for us. She named it and everything. Mm -hmm. Ask wow. Auntie. Wow, mm -hmm. that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh. I love I love the show. It's hilarious. Like y'all yeah, really do oh have God. different perspectives. Y'all yeah. be like, what? what? <laughs> that's like I sure. got drink. Yes. <laughs> happy. So he likes a cocktail. Yeah, a cocktail. I'll be trying to reel them in though. Like, come on back. Like. <laughs> Can't make people yeah. want to cut their wrists, girl. You gotta be, you know, some people are listening to this serious. She's like, the they mother have of the I'm the just whatever. Auntie. Quit them. You yeah. quit them, Auntie. Yes. <laughs> so, on Ask Auntie, you guys get like a ton of letters asking for advice. What's one of the craziest stories you've ever received? Well, in person, we were actually in um, a BBQ's restaurant. Mm -hmm. And a young man came up to us and said, oh, aunties, you know, I watched it, and I'd be wanting to write in and ask you a question, you know, but can I ask you a question right now? So we were like, okay, we waiting to sit down. So he's like, all right. And the young man asked me, straight-faced. Uh -oh. I'm scared. <laughs> so how do I get my girlfriend to be more comfortable with anal? Because she'd be oh, so Lord. stressed, like, and we was just like. Y'all at dinner. Huh? <laughs> Whoa. First of all, we at dinner and you <laughs> right. like and you like twenty. In front of everybody. <laughs> so right you now. like half our age asking this question <laughs> in an open space in a restaurant. Wow. And it was just like, oh. And she was like, Well, I got hemorrhoids, so don't ask me nothing. That was <laughs> Auntie Randall's <laughs> response. And Fran was just laughing, like, I can't believe he walked up and asked that in a restaurant. Wow. Bold. And I was just like, Everyone. Oh, well, people you know, are bold. <laughs> some people have trust issues. Yeah. So sometimes from the back it's harder because they can't see what you're doing. <laughs> so try it from the front. You know, you come from the front and maybe she'll feel a little bit more comfortable, right. you know. And if she says stop, you gotta stop because then she won't trust you. And he was like, Oh, okay, okay, we're gonna try that. And they was like, bitch, you really, <laughs> like, really gave, gave him a fuck. But you, could, fine, but you can't make people. Off, yeah. so, um, so take some you of the gentle. pressure away. <laughs> like, bitch, seriously? Seriously. I don't even want this chicken now. <laughs> My buffalo wings. But, you know, people really do have questions that they want to ask, but people make them feel stupid for asking right. them, so then they just suppress the question and never ask it. Yeah. Right. So you can't make somebody feel like, um, I don't want to answer. I was you know, taking it back by. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, you know, I was expected. too. I was taking it yeah. back because it was crowded that day. Right. And he just openly. Right. He openly was just people. like, so. He just got silent. Yeah. Like, how do <laughs> I get my girlfriend to relax during <laughs> anal? Like, whoa. whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wasn't ready. I was like, really? Okay. Yeah. Wow. It was shocking. Yeah, yeah. it was shocking. Yeah. It was sh <laughs> so that was one of the like more shocking. Okay. Um, recently at a show. <laughs> Uh -oh. <laughs> she said, don't get me started. <laughs> Recently at a, sh uh, a show we did um, at this Harlem place Nights. called Harlem Nights. Um, mm -hmm. It's a bar we um, headline for this comedy, uh, Monday Night Comedies. We're going to do every last Monday um, the of the month. Okay. okay. So we had a young lady come up and say, you know, me and my... And Excuse these me. are young people. Bar crowded. Yeah, crowded. Packed. It was To packed. capacity. Oh, my God. And she was young also. These are all oh, young 24, people. 24, 25. Always asking. And she Revolt. said, I want to know how I can get my friends to be more comfortable about um, s and because me and my man, we love it. And we want to talk about it to TMI, our friends. But we, girl, and I was TMI. like, in a crowded bar. And, and was I was like, like wow. well, girl, <laughs> I'm not really sure what I should be telling you right now. Because I'm not comfortable with the right. shit myself. I so mean, I, I don't know. Life. I don't even, I can't even, I said, when do you answer it? Uh, no, you know, I like to tell her was sometimes you don't have to tell everybody everything. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So you could just start with little things like, you know, like we do feathers or, you know, he do a scarf. I said, but if you come straight out, we got masks with balls in our mouth and all kind of shit. People get very like, 
whoa. Right. I said, so you just got to slide it in lightly, but you don't have to tell everybody yeah. everything. Like, yeah. that should be something that you keep. Yeah. Now we all looking at you private. like. Oh. Right. Because that's didn't mind. not. Gonna, <laughs> yeah. Didn't mind it at all. She didn't mind. She was standing there bold faced like, oh, okay. Okay. That makes sense. That kind of makes sense because then people judge you. You know, yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she did take the <laughs> heat to the people. advice. Listen, y'all young people, y'all ain't got no shame with y'all game. Y'all will ask <laughs> it's it. It's true. It's true. Y'all will ask it if y'all want to know it. I ain't even lying. We, we want the answers. Yeah, we just need answers. Yeah. <laughs> we were very repressed when we were young. You Parents, wouldn't even talk about talk sex about stuff, and things of that know, nature yeah. back now, then. Everything now, now in the open. Yeah, now. But Ooh. I do like the fact, though, that um, you all do ask those types mm -hmm. of questions because, I mean, back in our day growing up, uh, a sexual question was a taboo, right. you right. know? So there mm -hmm. are a lot of people that, let's say, got pregnant, thought they were going to die because yeah. your stomach is growing. Mm -hmm. No, it's just a baby. Well, they tried to jump <laughs> off the refrigerator, all kind of stupid <laughs> shit. To right. There were the so many different people things. People did all kind of retarded stuff because <laughs> they didn't have anybody to ask, but yeah. their right. friends who didn't know anything so, right. either. So, so yeah. you know. I love the mm -hmm. fact that you all so open right. yeah. to advice. Yeah. yeah. That's good. That's good. Um, so separate side chicks, it, you know, it follows five best friends. So can you talk about like, what are some things you guys do together, um, with your friends or, um, that you like to have fun with? We drink mm -hmm. okay. yeah. a lot, <laughs> a lot, a lot. Fran yeah. cooks a lot. Cooks. Yeah, she cooks. But when you cook too. Yeah, I don't cook I at have all. To. No. Like no, I grudgingly. No, no. No. Like, no, I don't no, cook. No, 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 I no. eat too. <laughs> no. She make a mean salad. Okay. Oh, out the Let's bag, the book. Yeah. Drop she it make in a mean salad. Real quick. Yeah. <laughs> cut she make a good salad. Maybe cut some little cherry tomato. Okay. You know, in half. Yeah, she'll yeah, slice yeah. the cherry tomatoes mm -hmm. for you. Yeah, I don't cook mm -hmm. either. Yeah. Other than that, no, I don't. She be cooking like stuffed peppers. Cut it out. Oh, really? Like that? Yes, you do. Every once in a while. Always come with my meal prep. I try. Oh yeah. I try. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. That's good. Yeah. But we do a, we actually do a lot of things together. Mm -hmm. We um we're not we're always together though. Okay. Um, so we really do have a sisterhood because yeah. we're always together. Our families are intertwined, mm -hmm. you know. So um like she calls my 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 parents mom and daddy, mm -hmm. you know like yeah. so we're really like sisters. So we basically do everything right. together. Yeah. I'm the driver, okay. so okay. they cook. I'll take them to get the food. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and the liquor. Make it and the She's the yeah. driver. Yeah, she'll go. She'll yeah. do all the running if she has to. Teamwork. But she ain't turning on the stove. Not at all. Not I'm, at I'm all. gonna tell you a quick story. I used to live in Lenox Terrace um, a while ago, <laughs> and I'm assuming there must have been some kind of gas issue, mm -hmm. so they had cut the gas off. But I didn't know. So. One day, I just so happened to shameful. go in my oh. kitchen to make some tea. Like, I, I don't know why I don't know why I want tea, but mm -hmm. I just I feel like some tea today. And I went to put on my tea kettle for the tea. I was like, what the hell? Well, I, no gas? Like, what the hell's what? going on? So I called the maintenance guy um, to come up. Like, something's wrong with my stove. When they looked, my gas had been off over a year and some change what? because there was some they because they couldn't turn on the gas without getting back in your house and your so whole con oh. had turned the gas off because in of order for them to turn it back building, on but they never came back and turned it on never knew she's never home never knew <laughs> you, don't, you don't cook so it's like never, you never know. know almost two years it was shameful i was embarrassed i was in, now that was because once I'm again she right. makes a mean salad okay okay <laughs> or i eat out Right. right. So all away. my boyfriends have to have a couple of dollars. Okay. Okay. Eat some. <laughs> I'm just saying. I love it. Okay. okay, so thoughts on being a side chick. Can they become the main chick? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I did. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I'm just saying. Okay. I did. Yeah. <laughs> she said I did. But it can happen. And it can happen. Yes. Yeah. It can happen. I mean, anything like that can happen because it just depends on what space the people are in. Mm -hmm. So if you messing with somebody who's with somebody and, and times are he different really now. wants yeah. to be out of the relationship anyway, because I don't really believe somebody can take somebody from you. Right. So yeah, even be. if they have a sexual encounter, that's not just going to make somebody 
leave a person. Right. It has to be more than sex that makes a person just leave. Right. So it has to be some other issues. Like people think that they're going to do it. I'm stuck. His dick's so good, girl. He's going to leave his wife. No. <laughs> if he was already going to leave, if he already right. had issues, it wasn't that that did it. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So, you know, they put too much importance yeah. on the sexual part of I know it. So. It's I know he ain't leave for my dick sucking skills. Cause girl, he I'm not the biggest dick sucker. Like, like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm a nigga cheat again. <laughs> No, it's not going to be that bad, sister. Girl, it's going to be that bad. I ain't even going to tell him your business, but that's for another what podcast. What she want to tell is... That's for another podcast. One day, I was in the middle of sucking a dick, and I needed some In advice. another state. You and I was like, girl, what am I supposed to do with this dick again? In here. Why well, well, I had to dig in my no, hand? No, Yeah, girl, you, you need... Huh? You said, hold on. I, I needed advice, too. I'm like, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. And she was telling him, just wait a minute. I got to call my sister, because I'm, I'm not doing something right. And I was like, bitch, you actually, she was like, yeah, girl. So what you said now? Hurry up. Tell me what I, oh my God. Did yes. he say something like, are you really on the phone? Yeah, he, he couldn't yeah, believe it. She was like, hold on. Wait I told a minute. You I was calling my sister. You want this shit right? Right, right. <laughs> Let me get the, my shit together. I promise you that happened. True, True story. That is story. Wow. True story. That is hilarious. Yeah. Um, so also, so what are your thoughts on the show so far? Like Brent and Melissa, have you seen... Um, like, what are, you, what are your thoughts on Brent and Melissa's situation? Which one is that? The gonorrhea or the, um... No. She got rid of the baby. White girl. And, the white girl? Yeah. He cheat, she know her husband cheating on her? Girl, bye. <laughs> oh, I'm, I feel strange. She cheating, girl. The sister come. Um, she want to start crying and shit. What you crying for? Girl, that man cheating on you. He was stuttering in the goddamn park. <laughs> What do you? He couldn't even remember his damn wife's name. What the hell is right, wrong with her? Right. He's like, this I was is so uh, nasty. this is uh, this is uh, uh, what's your name? I was like, <laughs> is she serious? She don't know, right, bitch? That was that was evident to Stevie Wonder. He blind, baby. <laughs> we gonna get into Natalie. We gonna get into Natalie because she. She need help. Girl, she need help. She need jobs. She need jobs. She need help. Yeah. Oh, the baby, you need to come see your baby to the system. Girl, bye. Anyway, <laughs> moving on from her. <laughs> I hate a dumb woman. I don't know. You don't? You don't want to know. Okay, we're going to play a quick little game. Okay. Date, marry, or boy, bye. Oh, with, with the characters of the show. With the characters of the cute. show. This is cute. That's like fuck, marry, kill. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I like it. So Kyle, Brent, and Alfonso. So Alfonso is the gonorrhea. Right. Gonorrhea oh. boy. Brent Kyle is the husband that's cheating. Piece and of shit. Who mm-hmm. oh, Kyle? Crystal's husband with Crystal's the husband. baby. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Crystal, that's the one who thinks she's a murderer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's so that's the one. That's he was, the so, one. He was See, so extreme. I would actually want to fuck him up. So is it a fuck him up part on this? It's thing? Just a boy, boy bye. Boy bye, boy bye for him. <laughs> uh, oh, she's a murderer. Yeah. Yeah, fucker, that's her body. Yeah. If you ever do, he doesn't believe in pro choice. But that's another story. Yeah. Yeah. So he would be boy bye. Okay. Um, the husband that's cheating on his wife. Yeah, Brent. Date I would or have marry. to fuck him. Yeah, okay, um, I'm gonna fuck I'm him. I'm gonna date him because he's okay. fine as shit, yeah. girl. You can't marry him because he's gonna no, cheat. I'm gonna date him because he's <laughs> yeah. cheating. Yeah. No, no, no. Hey, the other one with the gonorrhea, though. He a cheater, too. He, he a cheater, too. He got a girlfriend, too. Got a girlfriend, and he ain't need no girlfriend cheating on him. Okay, he yeah, he's got the So, you gonna qu- marry him? No, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to fuck him too. Then I'm gonna have to so date too. Marry no one. None of them I can marry. So, I don't want none of them. All right, if I had to. I would marry her if I had to. Right. I'd marry the fine one with the stupid wife. Okay. And oh, Brent. Brent. And I would have to just date. I'll find. I'll find that Got motherfucker it. here. <laughs> mm-hmm. Excuse my French, y'all. And kill uh-huh. the uh, murderer. Yeah, oh, Kyle. murder dead. Yeah, yeah, murder yeah, is yeah, dead. Yeah, 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 yeah. He dead. He did. He did. He's a don't yeah. object. I agree with those three choices. Okay. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, those are good choices. Mm-hmm. They all got to go for real, though. Yeah, yeah. for real. You just so got to make sure you use a real. condom with all of them. There's a lot of fucking going on. Yeah. That, I ain't gonna lie, there's a lot of fucking going on at all. Yeah. Side chick. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right, so we're going to get into episode six of Separate Side Chicks right now. So we're starting off with episode six. This is Reese's episode. Mm-hmm. Um, and you guys can jump in whenever. Mm-hmm. 
So Ty is typing away, writing her, I'm judging and stabbing my best friend in the back. Yes. yes. <laughs> Shade of bag lady come I in. I like right. that. Right. So Cheyenne, yeah, Cheyenne comes in with the bag ladies. Um, but my Ty, thing is, Ty, once again, you're not sitting in a seat. Like She, she loves to never. work on the floor, yeah, she on, tables, mm-hmm, on the like, table. Who raised you? <laughs> yeah. I guess that's how she thinks. I don't know. So, She's so, artistic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Eclectic. <laughs> yeah, all the words. So Ty tells um, Cheyenne that Melissa's on a date with Brent, probably. But yes. she's not sure. Really, Mel? Mm-hmm. So, but I, I hope Mel's not that stupid. Like, you're going back to she Brent is. after that whole dinner b- blowout? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 yes, <that's all> <laughs> She's about um, to call crime. Right. So they're on a conference call with Reese and Crystal. And Reese is frantic. Like, I'm going to kill him. And the, Crystal's like, calm down, sweetie. Think about your decisions. Drive safe. <laughs> so, and Cheyenne's like, no, send me his address. I'll meet you there. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Like, <laughs> Gangsta, like, honey. You're the one. Gangsta. Calm down. <laughs> That's me for sure. And I'll be like, Where, what's, the, what's the address? She already walked into her car. <laughs> I'm going to get his ass for you. <laughs> and Ty's yes. just like, wait, what's going on? But that's right. AKA like, hold on, let me go, let me go get my notepad. Because exactly. I let need to write these book. notes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she ain't slick. Yes, she did. She know. Um, so the actor of what went down. So we go back to Reese and Alfonso. They're in the bed. Birthday sex. Birthday sex. The yes. morning after. Um, they crossed the line between being just friends. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but he's like, he's late for something. So he's like, he's like kind of rushing out. Mm-hmm. So they kind of think it's like a one night stand yeah, type of situation. Yeah, they like lesson learned, chalk it up to the minute. Well, I actually kind of got that impression that it was a one night stand. Yeah. So yeah. I don't think it was more than a one night stand. Right. Well, no, let me not say that. Um, initially watching it, because I actually watched it a couple of times. Because when she was in the bed, she was acting like, why are you leaving? Like, yeah. Right. So that, that's not one night stand. Right. One night stand, you'd be like, what time this nigga getting up? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, but. But I'm saying on her part, mm-hmm. I don't think she thought it was a one night stand. No, I think oh, yeah. he thought yeah. it was a one night stand. Let's was. get let's get it out of right. our system type yeah. of thing. She resting peacefully, like yes. Save so when you're you coming mm-hmm. back. Right, what, what are you making for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> so then, um, Professor che- Cheyenne is just like, I done done it all. Like it's cool, girl. Just pick up some meds. You'll be all right. Right. <laughs> 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 and then Ty's like, wait, what are you even talking about right now? What you need meds for? So we find out that's not the full story. I was mad he ain't get up and put them boxes on, too. I know. He was... <laughs> <laughs> you just wanted to see his package. I'm saying, I said, you want to see his like package. cable, ain't it? You can get up and put that on, can't you? Oh, they got, they got uh, web think, sensors. Yeah, YouTube oh, okay. would shut it down, probably. Oh, okay. They would. Yeah, oh, all right. They would, uh-uh. So Reese is like, my homegirl, my sis, she started acting funny. So I had to get tested. Turns out she got gonorrhea mm-hmm. from Alfonso. I don't know. I just, I was feeling weird and not like myself. I thought I needed an HIV test or an all of them test. She was acting weird, so I didn't know what was wrong. Who is she? You know who she is. You know who she is. Well, yes. can I say I love the fact that she didn't um, call her her vagina. So or she was like, my, my girl. <laughs> my girl. My and girl. I, the, one of the other well, ones I'm was like, like, I was very confused. I was she was like, like what? I kept saying, <laughs> who, is what? who is she talking yeah, about? I knew what she was talking about. I didn't know the characters and everything. So I yeah. was like, is that somebody else? Like. Girl, your pussy is burning. <laughs> no, Talk. She Use said it words. feels funny. It feels Use funny. Use your words. Judy. That's what she's talking yeah. about. Yeah. <laughs> right. Perfect word. Good, good Judy. They good. They, okay. that's, that's a whole lot of friends, too, to give that information yeah. up to, in my opinion. Those are her sisters. So that, okay, so I understand. Yeah. But you got to have one sister you tell that kind of stuff to. <laughs> right. Not the whole Not the group call. of sisters. Yeah, like, that's yeah, true. that's kind of like a lot. Yeah. Love y'all, but that's you. some things you just got to keep to yourself sometimes, you know? That's true. That's true. So Alfonso, he comes over, oh, yeah. and he's like, I didn't give that to you. Girl. But he I don't know where you got that like from. Denzel from Training Day. Like, right. Yes, he did. <laughs> yes, he did. Yes, he did. Amen. <laughs> Like, what the F you mean I gave you gonorrhea? Like, oh. Yes, he no, did. Knock, no, no, nothing. No, no, no. Because did he have keys? No, he no. just opened the door. Oh, because I, I didn't see any keys in his hand. Oh. He no. just opened the door. 
She ain't leave a lot. I don't know. Child. <laughs> that's, a, that's a theme. Right? They love yeah. to just open doors. Yeah. Right. So she's like, read the paper yourself. Like, it's all right here. So he's like, that ain't me. I ain't give you nothing. You got that from somebody else. Like, yeah, but but this is a totally different guy that we met in yeah. the previous episode. He was nice in episode mm. five. That's how they get you. That's how they get <laughs> you. Already, but again, he already got the in his de- exactly. no in his defense. Uh huh. Upon watching this, in his defense, he thought he was the man, and oh, I'm gonna just get some coochie from this right. like this one but it's like what it's what it is what it is my girl don't have to know because he has a girlfriend yeah mm-hmm. the thing is is that when upon the dialogue between the two of them and she knows that she hasn't been sleeping with anyone else and he knows that he actually only cheated with her so by him only cheating with her now, but he don't know for sure that she haven't slept with nobody else but right. I'm so saying, my point is but when it, she it, threw that dirt on the wifey he don't know that to be absolutely true, yeah. but he thought she it did. Just, he he started he, thinking course, though, yeah. because that yeah. is the purpose of saying it to implant the seed in your brain. Yeah, but but you that's my implication. That's what I, him. But that's but he what thought I thought about it because of course it's a possibility. So now you making me think. No, because right. she's something kind of. Because when he trying to when she trying to say to him, oh, you thought you cheated on me and you got over on me and I got got real now but now Thank now you right. know your bitch been fucking right. on you too yeah. just like you fucked but on your I'm bitch yeah. your yeah. bitch is but, fucking but on you but you don't know that to he be true like, I ain't never thought about well, it we don't yeah. know yeah. we don't know that to be true right we don't know that to be true cuz the ending doesn't really state what the fuck was going well, on well i'm a wife so i took it like oh now she want to throw dirt on old girl you know what i'm saying yeah. because how do he know for sure, or how does she even know? Don't know unless you really know you saw her out with somebody right, else right. you yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. That's the only person yeah. you sleeping with. I'm a side chick. He's claiming that's you the only person that chick. he slept with, <laughs> but nobody knows for sure nobody whether or knows. not that accusation is true. Right. Yeah. I'm all from the side chick's be. point of view. Uh-huh. My, me myself. That's what I'm saying. She threw dirt on the wife, <laughs> yes. but but you wasn't concerned about the wife or what right. she had Talk when about you it. slid up on him and said, "Cause um, I wanted to be something more than friends." <laughs> <laughs> And then you raw dogged it. Yeah, on then top you want to be like, oh. Yeah, well, she was stupid for that. Okay. Yeah, she was. She was dumb as Ain't hell for that. Ain't much of a hurry for nothing. Wrap it up. Well, well she lucky clearly gone to Rio. I didn't even know gone Rio was still around. Me neither. <laughs> That's some old people shit, right? I mean, us, you got herpes. <laughs> so. I mean, allegedly. I'm sorry, allegedly. Um, allegedly, bitch. Usha, please. Um, so... <laughs> No, you did it. No, we're not bringing Usher into this. I know she brought it up. My bad. <laughs> Leave Usher out of this. That cuteness. I know Usher. So then he looks at her. He tries to like console her to say or say something. She's like, she moves so quick. She like, want nothing to do yeah. with that. What, what was he going to say to her? Like, oh, I'm sorry. He looked like he wanted to hold her head or something. <laughs> said, Grab her face. Head. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. That's why I don't think he was a bad guy. Honestly, look at the I know way he, he came in the door. It, no, he, he came, came in crazy. Said, up, 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 like, no, I know he was he was bad initially, but I guess after he gave us some thought and calmed down somewhat, I think um, he realized that oh shit, my girlfriend could have given this to me, kind of, of thing. Of course, yeah. because she you know? implanted the seed. Right. But again, he don't know that to be true. Because he don't know if his girlfriend ever cheated on him. So how do he know? And she, he don't know for a fact that she didn't fuck nobody else. Right. So all I'm saying is she threw another person into the mix to get the scuff off of her. But you was just wrong, sis. You fucked him and he had somebody. <laughs> and you didn't put a condom on. So that's on you. Yeah. Don't try to throw blame. You got it. It don't matter now. You, you have one dick. You got it from that day. <laughs> you should have wrapped up. Exactly. So don't put blame on nobody else. It's your fault. Because if you'd have put a condom on, would it be in this? Sis would be okay. Yes. <laughs> Talk about it. That's Talk. all I'm saying. So oh, throwing dirt well is being. just shady. Yes. yes. <laughs> so she goes back to her girls and um, so the girls tell her like, you need to be careful. And leave him alone. Like, get your meds, just do you, and just, it's <laughs> right. just a lesson learned. It is yeah. curable, at least. Yeah. With exactly. a little penicillin. Exactly. So, next day, Ty, she's walking and talking on the phone, and then she runs into her ex girlfriend. I'm like, shocker, yes. she's gay. <laughs> You expected it? I did. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So we get like a montage of like how happy they were, like real mm-hmm. love, real, real mm-hmm. love. Mm-hmm. And then the ex. 
She's like, I hate how things ended. Like, can we talk? So then Ty's like, yeah. And that's yeah. how it ends. <laughs> yeah. So this is what I'm going to say. I was very confused watching them because I kept thinking the episode was going to run into what happened from the last episode was going to like sort of oh, yeah. kind of pick up a little mm-hmm. bit. It was and hard to follow off. the flow. So yeah. I was, I, the flow was off for me. I was like, wait a minute. So now who are the, what's, what's going on here? Right. And right. then that was abrupt <laughs> and that was something else. Now yeah. we into Cause like... Because each episode is kind of based on the character so you get their, mm-hmm. their backstory. That's what I told her. Yeah. That's what yeah. I told her. It's, 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 they're showing snippets of each character. Yeah. And so they're trying to get yeah, it so all I in. I start from one and just right. work my way back okay. up. Well, that's what I actually, yeah. I didn't start from one, but I kind of worked my way back okay, a few episodes. Okay. So, right, so yeah. that I can kind of have a better understanding okay, of it. You. But that's when I realized that it's really, they're showing like. The ex- chapters, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Of um, each cast member right. or whatever. Mm-hmm. I just think they need to end it a little differently so you don't have so many questions at right, the end. you leave is just credits. You'd be like, oh, shit, that's over? <laughs> but wait a minute. What happened? Because with the gay so, girl right. and her part and, um, ex-girl, I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, that comes <laughs> back. What the fuck was that about? <laughs> All right, so let's get into episode seven. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> with Natalie, Brent's wife. She meet ups with her sister and, you know, she's showing her pics of the baby and, you know, her sister's so happy. Mm-hmm. And then Natalie's like, this is too much. <laughs> and she <laughs> starts crying. <laughs> like the, the trigger word was, y'all make pretty babies. She's like, because oh, ain't gonna be no this, more pretty babies. This is babies. too much. <laughs> yeah, this is it for them. And the sister's like, girl, what's wrong? What happened? I just feel like he might... Brent? No way. He loves you. I know that, but I just, something in my gut tells me that. Are you sure that you are not just bored or jealous? But didn't Melissa say she called her and told her Brent is cheating? So what do you mean you think? Yeah. Right. So I was confused. So what That's do you denial. Mean? When yeah. Yeah, your denial. husband the forgets your calls. name. Right. Yeah. That's number one. And he's too. looking at another woman. When he forgets it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's like, this is uh what, what right. do you think he's doing? Yes. Yeah. Come yeah. on. You saw the connection there. Yes. You're not blind. You saw it. She's trying to, you know, den- uh what is it? Denial. Yeah, she's in denial. She's in denial. <laughs> she's in denial. <laughs> she's in denial. She's in denial. We don't usually drink Moscato. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, she's like, what is this? Denial. Yeah. <laughs> it's like drunk history right now. <laughs> Look here. I love these ladies. They're on our plateau oh, now. No. Oh, no. Take another sip, sis. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. So, so her sister, she don't want to believe it. She's like, no way. Brent love you. And that, Nat, Natalie is like, I feel it in my gut. Like, something telling me. Something's up. Yeah. So her sister's like, don't drive yourself crazy. Just talk to him. Talk to him. Everything's going to be okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And she asked her, what are you going to do? <laughs> she said, you- what, if you, what are you going to do if you find out that it's true? And she's like, kill, kill myself. myself. I said, what? <laughs> right. You know what I said? Right. Right. Are crazy. No shade. And I don't want to be like, you know, um, I'm trying to be politically correct right. here, but. That's white people shit. Yeah. I said she's a different it kind of crazy. I'm just saying. And she she's said it different. like kind of crazy. Like, I'm going to kill myself and then black girl, over. Black girl, black girl, like, I'm going to kill this motherfucker. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to kill him. She said, I'm going to take my life. Kill myself. Myself. You're going to take your just, own life over what about, yeah. your, what about your baby? What about your baby? She's like, the sister got him. The, ba- the sister been gushing the over sister the love baby. love him. Yeah, so... But so you're going to give him was, what he want. You're going right. to kill yourself. No. no. You got to stay and different. make him miserable. Don't yeah. divorce him. You ain't going nowhere. You get half. Don't divorce him. Don't divorce him. You get half. Like, you got to no make truth. figure out a way to, like, make it work right. for yeah. you. Yeah. Exactly. Not make what's good life. for him. Yeah. Yeah. What's good for you and your baby? Yeah. That's fast He's forgetting your name, thinking. sis. You got to be planning ahead. <laughs> so I stare at you from Maybe now because he forgot name. your name. And snapped his finger. Yeah. With yes. like, yeah. uh, so what's uh, your name? I was like, I would have. No, while him. I was watching, I was yeah. like, now that's mad disrespectful. So yeah. Disrespectful. Like I'd have hooked off on me personally. Yeah. Right in the in the park. I said, what? Oh, that no. was whack, but he fine though. <laughs> he fine, but you know what <laughs> he happened? Let that slide. Had yeah. had she been, unfortunately, a black girl. And he'd have snapped his finger for getting his wife's yeah, name. Sure that she'd have grabbed the finger and yes. cracked it right there in the it park. It would have been on and popping in the park. 
Yeah. Ain't something wrong with your fingers? Yeah. See, you see your eyeball? You know how a mother yeah. look at? Yeah, she, yeah, yeah. She yeah. couldn't even give him some but eye that's, contact. But you know what? That's probably why he with her. Yeah. Don't say that. Yeah. That's why he Maybe. with her. Maybe. I hate when people say that. Like, they make it seem like um, white blonde girls are dumb as hell. Well, not all, but they, they pick their victims. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Look at this show. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Unfortunately. He was yeah. whack. He was whack. Yeah. He was yeah. whack for that. Yeah. With his fine yeah. ass. Fine. Whack. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> whack <laughs> fine all ass. Right. He all right. He's yeah. cute. He's okay. He's tall. He's tall. Mm-hmm. Cut that. up. Yeah. You can yeah. see the cut up. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. Yeah, yeah. We all was lusting at his whack ass. So I'm just saying. So Crystal and Mel, you know, they key in in the living room. And Mel asks, like, so is baby number two on the way? Like, baby number three. Baby three. Baby number three? Yeah. 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 Two she has two kids. kids. Yeah. She has two, kids. Has two kids. It's that Moscato girl. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote this a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> and Crystal's like, I can't even get him to look at me. Right. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to continue. <laughs> so Mel's like, he's still, pu- he's still punishing you? And she said, Crystal said, you know, he says he's over it, but I don't believe him. Right. And Mel's like, you know, don't beat yourself up. It's hard enough that you had to go through it. But they don't really explain what it is. Mm-hmm. So, you know, everyone else comes in Ready and Ty quick to ask, like, what's tea? What's going on? Yeah, she want all the food. Because she got a book to write. Yeah. Okay? It's very it. important. Right, right. The final chapter. And they're yeah. all going to be in this book. And yeah. We all know. Yeah. Yes. So Mel, you know, she tries to play it off, but Crystal was like, my non-existent sex life. That's, mm-hmm. what's, that's what's happening right, right now. Right, that's it. And Ty's like, well, secrets don't make friends. And I'm like, mm-hmm. girl, that's the name of your book. <laughs> All right? <laughs> you stay with the secrets. <laughs> yes. <Yeah>. How dare you? <laughs> you got nerve. You got some nerve. Always plug it. Always yeah. plug it. Come on. Yeah. You got some nerve. <laughs> And even Cheyenne points out, like, you, I don't know how long you thought you could hide the fact that Kyle's not talking to you because we all saw it at the party. We like, were all was, there. We were all mm-hmm. there. He was legit, like, how you getting home? Like, right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was it. I saw that. Yes. Yes. That. yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. So Crystal blames herself, and Melissa's like, no, don't do that. He's a jerk. Of course, Melissa's like, don't blame yourself. Funny. Um, but I don't yeah, think she yeah. should really be blaming herself. Anyway, I mean, something like that after we you watch the, the, show and you see why he's so upset with her. I mean, it really boils down to her being pro-choice. Mm-hmm. And yeah. And now I do... Which, which well, is, the problem is you're married. So wait, wait, it wasn't like it, it was your it. boyfriend. Wait, wait, wait. Let's look at okay. the scene. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, but he's so disrespectful yeah, towards her. he was. So we go to one year... One year ago, we see Crystal had an abortion behind her husband's back. And he is livid, okay? Mm-hmm. So he's like, you killed my child my without child. talking to me! Our child. Oh, oh, so now it's ours. What the fuck was our when you were making a decision like that without talking to me? I did talk to you. I tried to. You didn't want to listen. Do you talk about fucking killing my child? No, I didn't want to hear that shit. You're not going to talk to me that way. You go and do that shit anyway. So she's like, she's like going to him, like, I did try talking to you, but um, you wouldn't listen. And he's like, you're right. I didn't want to listen to you talk about killing my child. And then she goes on to say, like, we could barely take care of the kids we have now. Um, I, was, I just thought I was doing what's best for my family. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> um, but he also says, like, he gets mad because he's like, I'm the one that provides for this family. Right. Mm-hmm. You, we supposed to be in this together, I guess. A team. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So she, she had no idea that he was not pro-choice? I think she just made the decision. She was supposed to take that to the grave. I don't even know how that he found out. If you wasn't going <laughs> to put him in a decision-making <laughs> well, from I the beginning, then why quick? tell him? Why tell him? Exactly. Like, I don't, that's what had me so... Because I was very confused. I was like, I got to rewind this. Like, what happened? <laughs> like, you didn't tell him that you were going to do it. So it wasn't like y'all had a debate. He said no, you were saying yes, and then you didn't get it. She tried to tell him. He didn't want to hear it. So he didn't want to have the conversation Mm. because she was trying to tell him. 
And that's the end of that. True. <laughs> because Problem if you're going to do <laughs> it and you see how vocal he was and he right. didn't want to hear it, right. then I don't understand. He didn't why want any parts of that yeah. conversation as she said. Okay. He so didn't want to hear it. She was supposed to take that to the grave. So yeah. she went on her own. She did it anyway. And, and did it because yeah. she felt that they couldn't afford another child. Mm -hmm. So I understand why she did it, but I also understand his right. anger because he's yeah. saying he evidently is a man's man. Mm -hmm. No matter what, I'm the provider of my family. I would have found a way to provide for yeah. this third child. It. So I understand that too. But, you know, it's still her choice in the sense that mama's baby, daddy's baby. Well, it's mm -hmm. her choice, but see where it got her. So when you in a relationship Dickless. with somebody, you can't just make those kind of dickless. choices and don't think that the other person is just going to say, okay, well, it was your choice. Well, that's right. why she should have so took it to the grave. That's what I said. Why did you tell him? She just came home and said, I just had a she wanted to be open. So you know, but what yeah. I'm saying is then that's why she's truthful. in the situation she's in. If you wanted to be truthful and you don't care what he said, then why are you stressed out that he's acting like this? This is what happens. Right. So sure. I'm I'm sorry that but one I had to take with this me type of exactly reaction. backlash yeah and mm -hmm. he ain't with the shits he Not don't at care all. at all <laughs> like he walking past her like I don't care if you got on a G string and you got candles lit I'm <laughs> going in the room to make a phone call <laughs> right who right, for? right. <laughs> he he wasn't with it no. and when he got a beer bitch right <laughs> right <laughs> I'm gonna relax in the room by myself Wait, okay yeah so. So but the girls are shocked. Yeah, the girls are shocked. That like, why you didn't tell us this? Mm -hmm. Like, why? How could you keep this from us? Right. They can't believe it. Like, you did what? Like, so you didn't what? tell us? Mm -hmm. Come on. So she's like, don't you know? I'm not gonna be worried about it. I'm embarrassed, but I feel guilty. I just gotta get pregnant again. That's it. That's that's my just solution. the answer. There's something wrong with this. Well, that was dumb. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was. And because how are you going to get pregnant? The child that died. Yeah. But how are you going to get pregnant when you can't even get him to sleep with you? Right. Yeah, she. I guess she didn't think it would be like this for this long. I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they try to tell her like you can't force them to have a baby with you, girl. Yeah. You know what baffled me with this though, considering that they were all kind of like so close, that she didn't confide in them right. to tell. But them. she told, she told her husband. But she told Melissa. She told Melissa, Melissa first. Then. Right. Right. Well, right. She did tell Melissa, mm -hmm. but you know. The other one told everybody she had gonorrhea. Yeah, right. You know? right so right, I thought right, that, you know, right. everyone, it seemed that they all have this sisterhood, yeah. you know, that they can speak to and tell them each other anything. So that's why I was surprised that yeah. only one of them knew. And pretty much we didn't know Melissa knew until after exactly. that, you know. I guess because she was ashamed of it, so she didn't want to tell everybody. I would I, I would tell everybody yourself, Tyra, because you know she judgy. So. Yeah. <laughs> She's quite judgy. What did you say about me? I would be more ashamed of the gonorrhea. Um, <laughs> what did you say about me? <laughs> You're murderer, bitch. You're murderer. No, I'm You're just murderer. saying. I'm right. like, like, what would you be? Like, I don't know. I think the gonorrhea would have been more like mm, shock. Yeah. yeah, I'm squeamish on saying that, mm -hmm. but really, mm -hmm. yeah. Because mm -mm. I guess I with know. the abortion, it's like you can see the side of it. Gonorrhea is like, girl. Right, you yeah. just ratchet. Yeah. Girl, who you gonna slap with? Who you gonna lay down with? That was dirty, girl. I do a dirty dick, girl. Girl, what's the thing? So I know not to lay with that dirty oh, dick. <laughs> Sometimes we have, like, you know, crossovers. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Oh, that's my friend, but you know, uh, he a secret. A slide. Mm. Did you no. slide with him, too? No. Shit. No. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm just saying. So now, you know, he's coming home and ignoring her. To that she tied salad. Yeah, right. mm -hmm. Did you see that tied prepped, salad? Prepped a little the, the candle salad. The salad, salad looked terrible. No tomatoes. Yeah. Oh, my God. No <laughs> tomatoes. And you know. You know how to cook them. That was not She it. know a good but salad. You know. We see one. <laughs> <laughs> and he was just walking by like, who that for? Yeah, it's like, what, what you doing? So he goes to, like, make some phone calls. And she starts coming in yelling, like, what? Is it going to be like this from now on? Mm -hmm. Like, what's going on? And he looking at her like, have you lost your rabbit ass mind? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm on a business call. Yes. Okay, I'm making money mm -hmm. over here. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have about 24 people at the phone. Is it going to be like this forever? Is this my scarlet letter for the rest of my life? <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Um, let, let me call you back. Okay. Woman, have you lost your rabbit ass mind? Just tell me now. Is this what my life is? What we've become? Is this as good as it gets? You're drunk. Just talk to me. Do you even love me? I, I 
back to different with y'all when she came in the room, though. She wasn't really losing her mind. Excuse me. She was actually, she just wanted an answer. Yeah. When she, she just wanted to know, did he love her anymore? That so, wasn't the time. So, <laughs> He's like on he was the on, phone. He was on a business but, call. But, you but it doesn't like matter. She, she she's yeah, heartbroken. Yeah. It doesn't matter about the business call or anything. There's times that we've been in relationships. We, we all no, have. I'm saying anything was wrong with we, it, but she we came wanna in the room know, and lost her mind. Look, yeah. motherfucker, look. <laughs> what is going... What is it? Do you love me anymore? She, like, and she just wanted to know, does he have any love for her anymore? And I was just heartbroken. I know. Yeah. yeah. He was just so, like... He was heartless. How can oh. I love a murderer? Right. <laughs> and then he said, move. And she breaks down crying. She just wanted him to talk to her. You know, so I, I, I understood her pain because I've been in situations where, not where I had an abortion and my husband don't like me anymore. <laughs> think me a murderer, but like, I, well, man. I had gonorrhea, but. No, not that I had a gonorrhea. But, <laughs> you know, I'm just saying I've been in situations where you like, what is going on with us? What's, you know, what is the issue? What is our problem? And when you love someone, you just want to know what, what, what am I doing wrong? You know, but it, it turns out that it wasn't that anyone was really doing anything wrong. Mm -hmm. It's just he was just fed up because he seems like he can't get past the fact that she had an abortion. Yeah. yeah. And to use the too. thing as a murderer, yeah. that was me, harsh. That also that was says harsh. a lot that about harsh. the type of person that, you know, he is as far as the person that you love. Because it's a year. Clearly it's a year, a year yeah. later. So it's like if you're still in the same house and y'all have children, you know what I'm saying? At some point, even though you're still always going to be heartbroken over that situation, if you see that your spouse is trying to make it right, right. either you're going to leave or you're just going to try yeah. to move on, you know, from that space. And it's definitely going to affect the kids because I'm sure yeah, they he's, see Yeah, he's just got her in limbo hanging on to that one thing where it's like, okay, she made a mistake. Well, I'm mad she at did. her because she she looked after the fact when she went to talk to her girlfriends, mm -hmm. um, and she was like, "Well, I'm over thirty. Like she she felt like because of her age, mm -hmm. like oh, like I need my husband. I just want mm -hmm. I love my husband. Like right. her life has ended. And right. I was like, bitch, thirty, your life, you got a lot of life still, <laughs> but you can get you like two more husbands, mm -hmm. three if you want. Yes. Be like Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> True." I'm but just she's saying. Like, I feel it's like I'm nothing to him. Like right. she's, just, she's just so But hurt. she felt she feels like she's nothing to herself. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. and then when her friend said, No, you're great, you're the she said, Yeah, I am amazing. But I don't even though she said it, she didn't really feel yeah, it. No. Yeah. And she's like, I'm just a mom. Like she, right. like she doesn't right. see anything else for her life. If you can't love yourself, how the hell are you gonna love somebody else? Right. It's called right. self-esteem. Esteem of your motherfucking self. If you don't have that, then who else is gonna like you? <laughs> Come on. Yeah. So um, her son comes out, um, and then uh, they leave. Yeah. And then Crystal could even get close the door all the way until Reese was like, she did what? what? Right. <laughs> like, I was what? like, that was, that was my shit, though. <laughs> that's why she only told one that's person That's the shit I would have did. Exactly. That was my huh? point no, before. No, I'm just saying, that's some shit I would have did. Like, girl, 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 you saw Let's that? Let's talk about this. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm just saying, you don't have to have shadiness in yes. these times. <laughs> I'm That's why saying. she didn't tell y'all. She was all up in it for real. Yes. Mm -mm. So Ty. <laughs> yeah, so Ty is. Printing that book. Printing so proud of her hard work. She is shady. She is so shady. Prints out her book. She's like, I'm done. I'm complete. Stabbed all my friends in the back. She's so proud of her. But I was wondering now, because I really couldn't see what that had said on the screen. Uh -huh. So I was wondering, did she put the abortion issue She's right. She's putting everything. 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 I I, I, I thought she did, yeah, she's but I really everything. couldn't see what the, the writing. Title? Well, mm -hmm. Yeah, the title, title was just like how to become a, or how to be a side chick. I don't know if you go. Oh, see, I how didn't be really the see what that was. Yeah. So I couldn't okay. really. I didn't know what exactly she was writing to print out. You know, I knew it was her oh, book. This was just that the, part um, right there. Yeah, how to be a side chick, a single single woman's guide to being number two. So oh, this is the, okay. the, the title. The title. That. So she finished the whole book. So right. okay. In it. Yeah, okay. So everybody been to that. Shit. Yes, everybody. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So All right. Damn so shit. <laughs> with two drama filled episodes, let's get into the questions, comments, and concerns. Okay. 
question about the series. What you think is going to happen in the next episode? I know y'all got concerns. Well, don't be shy. Send us your QCC so we can read them all on the show and give our opinions. Go to seriouslypodcast.com and send us a message. You can also tweet us or slide in DMs at Seriously Podcast. But don't be fresh. <laughs> don't be fresh in the DM. <laughs> Okay, so I guess regarding Crystal, um, I, I, I feel like she could have kind of forced her husband to listen, like, this is what I'm going to do, just hear me out, and here's, like, I guess the pros and cons, but he just wasn't trying mm-hmm. to listen, but she, you can tell she didn't trust her husband that he could provide for their family, which is really why right. she yeah. did it. She didn't trust him, like, and because she even said, like, look, we're good now, we're more, I don't have to work, like, there's money now, but mm-hmm. she didn't trust that he could provide before which was, I don't know, it was communication, too. So I think it was lack of communication. Yeah. yeah. Was adoption never an option? Like, adoption? Oh. She was just quick to get rid yeah. of the baby. Like, they could have really spoke about different options. Yeah. Well, I know he wouldn't have went with Tell the me adoption, way, way. not him. Yeah. He would have. He doesn't I, seem like the I side. think they would have made it work, but what happens is it's expensive raising children. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, education. You you know, it's cute when you buy a little onesies for $10 yeah. and, you know, you're dressing the baby up like a doll baby. Mm-hmm. But once they start hitting a year and it gets real for you, it's very expensive. So maybe she just assumed I'm gonna say before it was going to be a struggle. I'm going to say before year. I ran into a lady. I was coming up my building and she said her daughter was two. And I was like, wow, she's two years old because, you know, her feet were dangling. But <laughs> I was like, wow, she's two. Uh, but she was like, I don't know. I didn't know her, but she knew my Super Epton. And um, she was like, she just started venting. Mm-hmm. And she's, oh, I'm just leaving the school. And um, I just I had to leave 700 and some odd dollars. I like $750. 750 for what? Her two-year-old baby. They wanted three hundred and fifteen dollars for per week to watch the two year old. In addition to that, she had to leave a week, um, like pay for that week and pay for another week in advance. So that was um, uh, six something. Plus she had to, oh, so it was a six fifty because, mm-hmm. and she said they made me buy a shirt and she put, picked up the shirt <laughs> for the baby, which was another twenty dollars. So it must have oh been like six hundred fifty dollars. I apologize. But she was devastated. Like, what? where do they think people get $315 yeah, yeah. a These week? Daycares and... And I said, but a uh, two-year-old? They want that money. And <laughs> she said, oh, maybe because um, she's not totally potty. I thought, well, she, well then there's a problem. She ain't... She too... She ain't totally... Probably drinking something you ain't doing right. But <laughs> focusing on the other name thing. I've been that ain't complete. It's too young to still be in a diaper. <laughs> two years old. No, it's not. You kidding? Two years old. That is not yeah, too young months? to still be in a yeah. diaper. Two years they still old. Still be in diapers. Mm. Well, <laughs> I don't know. I had two. I know. I know. I know. I had two. She had to pay extra. <laughs> She has it's expensive. But it I'm is. just saying, mm-hmm. like she and I didn't I didn't even know this woman. She just happened to stop and just start talking because my super knew, like knew her, I guess, from walking past or whatever. And she was venting. And I was like, damn, that's a lot of money for. Or mm-hmm. damn. And and then it's more money if it's a smaller child. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because yeah. it's more attention. So, more right. attention yeah. yeah. So two years of 315, what is a Three month old, because like most people, uh, right. most people, you know, mm-hmm. um, when you have a baby, you only really get like six weeks, yeah, mm-hmm. to stay home, exactly, like on uh, maternity yeah. leave. So, shit, that's crazy. That's Two so months, was like we don't got the money. Like I can't mm-hmm. do it. They better go she to the ABCD decision yeah. that she should have kept to herself. Is all yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, I do agree with that. I do agree because why tell him? You know, his, yeah. you know how he is. That's your husband. Yeah, you should you know, know what his react. decision was. Yeah. She wasn't thinking and some men just much. don't want to know. They in their mind they want to be this great provider, but I think she knew in her heart of hearts that he just could not do it. Yeah, and that's why she did what she did. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, um, sorry, husband. That living room was tight. They couldn't afford another baby. <laughs> <laughs> it would be in real. Well, I'm just the, saying. The the table was in the hallway. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So she, I didn't want to say she that. She should have just said. Since you brought it up, she should have said, "Oh, the table was in the hallway." Blue. I ain't even gonna say none of this, nigga. I'm gonna just make that appointment, <laughs> and that be that. That's it. All that sharing is caring. Not for him. 
Mm-mm. Obviously. Now he's calling you a murderer. Well, exactly. I'm going to tell you, what she shows, though, she really didn't know her husband. Right. No, she didn't. Right. She really didn't know her husband. Because if you really know a person, you know what you can and cannot share with right. him. Right. So what I'm with you. Handle, Had too. she known him like she should have? Either that or she wanted the attention. Like, oh, my God. Oh, that pregnant? was some bad fucking like, attention oh, she got. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm, it was terrible. No. no. Terrible. Mm-mm. Yeah, that was bad. She should have kept that one to herself. Yeah. Secrets. Mm-hmm. No need um, for both of them to go to hell. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> we, we ain't playing with hell right now. <laughs> so let's talk about um, Alfonso. So do you guys think he is, like, the perfect example? I feel like he was just being a nice guy to get in her pants. Or do you think they were really best friends? And it just crossed the line. I think it was just it crossed the line. Okay. I think um, because because I did watch other episodes, it seemed like they did have a good yeah. friendship. And it's just something that happens. So what I do say is, though, on one of our questions mm-hmm. on, our, on our show, like it asks, what do you, what do, you do if you sleep with, with a best friend? Mm-hmm. And I always say, don't do it. Yeah. Because there's no mm-hmm. coming back from it. I'm sorry, I don't give if the dick was whack or the coochie was whack, you know, mm-hmm. right, whatever. There's still a level of of respect that you're gonna lose for the person yeah. because And it becomes awkward. Very know, awkward. Afterwards. Exactly. Like yeah. no it's matter never what. gonna be the same between you Not because it happened. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You know, you know each other on a different type level now. So yeah. So I always say don't do it. So I don't think they should have done it. Yeah. Because it seemed to me as if they were actually Friends, right? I didn't think so. they were friends at all because even at the party, really, Ty was like, "Your man, your um, Reese's man is here," because they know she likes him. But right. but even right. he was like really flirty, like the way they were it's looking like, at each other, the they hanging out, out the all the time. Yeah, that it was just like I want to, like he always see him yeah. like I want to fuck her. Like, that well, put it like thing. this, I still, I personally thought that she thought they were friends, right. but she did like him. Yeah, mm-hmm. and but thought she, that maybe they that, could right. be something. But there was still a boundary that she shouldn't have crossed because she knew he had a girl. Yeah, she did. Right. And she knew. if you know that, you're going in it now, mm-hmm. but you know what right. this outcome may be. Right. Now you want to lay up mm-hmm. and be like, oh, this is my boo. No, he's that oh. bitch. I got to go. See you later. Go. I got to go. Are <laughs> you checking leaving? the phone? You leaving? Yes, yeah. I, I don't even I want breakfast. I my phone. I got to go. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, what you thought? I ain't even I'm just saying, watch. I was like, her coochie must be whack. Because <laughs> usually a motherfucker will be like, yeah, bitch, you going to cook me something to eat? And I'll be like, nope. He got he to make sure to go to the girlfriend probably. Yeah. yeah he probably yeah. had a, something. Yeah, That's he crazy. was whack. Um, what else did we see? In Thai. She needs to go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> That book. So in the well. so in the yeah. next episode, do they realize that she wrote the book yet yeah. or nah? Yeah. I mean, oh, I gotta watch that one. Not yeah, too I'm much too spoilers for you guys. Yeah. Y'all didn't watch, but it's all gonna blow up. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. And I'm the way she that. moves, as like they find out about it, uh, makes you look at her like really. Oh, mm-hmm. like snake. Make, makes She's you snake. look yeah. like at her like, were you really my friend? Right. right. Exactly. That's, That's exactly goes back to me telling you some things you gotta not give to the whole group. Right. Yeah. They, yeah. We all well, I'm cool glad that we don't you. have that issue amongst no. our group. We like, you know, <laughs> yeah. that's yeah. the difference. Yeah. Like, no, no, I'm like, we don't have that problem yeah. amongst us. Yeah. Like, our sister. Like, I even share my husband with them. We call husband daddy. Yeah. yeah. Seriously. Yeah, he's hey, a, daddy. He's a chef, so okay. he just, like, yeah. you come over, Landa put on pajamas, and she be on the chase lounge in my bedroom, and he have a tray for her and a tray for me. <laughs> like, just daddy, like... thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> How long you guys been friends? Oh, oh God. 30 plus years. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. It's been a <laughs> long <laughs> time. And me and, <laughs> me and her friend has been longer than that. We've been oh, friends wow. since we were five and six. Oh, yes. Wow. I was five. She was six. <laughs> they make she, sure like, they say that. Right. I wish oh, friend, yeah. I wish sister was here because she'd be yes. like, it's only six months, bitch. Yeah, but it don't matter because when you have that year on your birth certificate that's <laughs> one less than mine, that means that you're a year make older. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That's awesome. So, yeah. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. And so, actually, we're lucky, though. I was telling everybody that we're fortunate because... We have a true sisterhood and friendship mm-hmm. that many people these days 
do not have. Yeah. Sure. You know, so we're lucky. And don't get me wrong, I'll be like, bitch, you getting on my nerves today. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'll cuss them out, honey. Oh, like, I'll be like, we, if you fought one more time, I swear to God. Because like, I have a little yeah. gas problem sometimes. <laughs> She's very, Auntie Landa is very flatulent, for real. It's bad. Would that mean gassing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> But yeah, then they'll get mad because I'll, I'll pass gas whenever. And then lock the windows. She's, she's shady. She's I'm, shady. I'm, I play with them all the time. <laughs> but, you know, we love each other no matter what. We can get mad at each other. We can we cry together. We laugh together. We, we have fun together. We have, you know, we just yeah. share life together. And I wish that's one of the things that I, we want to project to other people um, in friendships that you don't have to be blood related to have a true friendship. You, right. you understand? Mm-hmm. That, that This is my sister, yeah. literally. My sister. Like, you know, so, and although we have different mothers and fathers, I revere her as my sister, yeah. you know? Yeah. So, and we want to project that to others because it's true, it's real, there's no bullshit with it. We are, like I said, everybody is friends. We have our good days and our bad days and whatever. But no matter what, I'm here for her, hook or crook, and same thing for me. With me, the yes. same thing with Fran. Yes. Yeah. I love that. So we're blessed that. to have a true friendship. Yes. Y'all glasses awesome. is empty. What's going on, I know. girls? They over here forgetting their questions, though. They was like, ooh, this podcast was crazy. Ma'am? Oh, sir. Oh. <laughs> Sister. 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 <laughs> Sister, you forgot about me. <laughs> so how long have you guys been friends? So we met in college. What's um, awesome? L.I.M. Okay. Laboratory Institute of Merchandise. Oh, okay. Awesome. We, awesome. It was for fashion. Um, mm-hmm. But we met in college in 2009. Mm-hmm. Yes. And then she was like, can I be your friend? I was Shut like, up. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you stop with those lies. Like, and she Boom. was like, I guess so. I you guess. Stop with those I mean, lies. Should, oh, absolutely yes. not. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just instantly clicked. And then awesome. after that, it was like, we, I feel like she's my only friend I made in college. We was inseparable. Yeah, if, wow. if you saw Always her, together. you saw me, you saw me, you saw her. Everybody knew that, so... And then we, now we work together. Yeah. So, awesome. And we have nice. this podcast together. So yeah. we've seen See, a lot. That's a sister. A lot. That's a real sister. <laughs> a lot. A lot. A lot. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. They have a um, a campus for LIM on uh, 3rd Avenue, right? Yeah, Lexington. A residence. Oh, 3rd um, Avenue. It was like 40. They have one a on resident 90 hall. something. All right. <laughs> She's talking about the Got residence it. hall. Like 90 yeah. something street. Yeah, yeah I live over Ni- there. Because oh, I was like, do. I know LIM for yes. some reason. Yep, yes. on 3rd Avenue. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's us. Okay. Yeah, so that's our story. Well, that's awesome. wonderful. That's well, wonderful. And look, a year in working together and y'all still friends, yeah. that means that you are true friends. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. it's hard to it see is. your friend it all is. the time and be like, it this work, bitch just got work, on my nerves. It happened to me. It happened to me. What you mean? Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I'm like, what you, what you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I <had a> bike. <laughs> yes, that, oh, yeah, that's true. She had another friend, and they were from high together. school. Yeah. Oh. Oh. And I got her the job, too, and mm-hmm. we don't speak at all. Oh, and she was here for a season. It's okay. Is that right? That's how I feel. Yeah. Yeah. Girl, yeah. bye. Yeah. Friends are only for a season. Right. Yeah. Regional season. Yeah. She had to make best space for your true bestie to come in. So oh that's God. how that go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Drop <a> <laughs> So bye, Felicia. <laughs> <laughs> yes, girl. Be like that. See you on the come up. Uh-huh. When we famous, we'll interview you as something. <laughs> something. <laughs> something. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. We'll think about Maybe it. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> just we'll saying. We'll have our people call mm-hmm. your people. Yeah, yeah. And we'll just ignore your call. Yeah. <laughs> That's something that I would do. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. That's you all the way. All oh the way. My God. Why she calling <laughs> Um, <laughs> this was fabulous. Oh, yeah. I enjoyed fun. myself, ladies. Oh, I'm so glad. Thank you. This guys was so really much. fun. Do this. You girls actually have great chemistry yeah. together. Yeah, so yeah. much. Yeah. Great oh chemistry God. together. Yeah, you guys are hilarious. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. 
Next time you gotta have you and have Fran come. Yes, oh, yes. 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 Would have loved this. She would have totally loved it. Yeah. Unfortunately, she had a family emergency, right. so unfortunately she couldn't be here. But she is definitely tuning in. Okay. Mm-hmm. She will she, not miss she has it. A bourbon drinker. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And yes, she likes bourbon. Oh yeah. She has a I big flask. Really? With she'll bring. Oh yeah, her flask is huge. Yes. Oh my huge. god. Huge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Huge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bourbon and cigars. Yes, yes. yes. Mm-hmm. and cigars. Oh my god. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, so and she has a raspy voice. <laughs> I smoke who can get dizzy. She <laughs> curse me out. Yeah. I was so drunk. Sister, so sister, mm-hmm. sister, they got me drunk. I'm sorry. <laughs> they? They? Yeah, they did it. They did, they it. did it. Yeah, they did it. Seriously, they did it. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. yeah, seriously, they did really they do did. it. They really did, though. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, do you, can you guys share um, any upcoming projects or um, where you, people can find you guys? Anything like that? Yes. Well, so um, August sixteenth, we have the Lemonade Stand um, at um, Bakery H N Y on Amsterdam Avenue. The, so we have an Ask Auntie Lemonade Stand. It's gonna be on and popping, y'all. Tequila lemonade. Oh, yeah, the, what the day tequila. you said? You said well, Wednesday. Wednesday. Uh, tequila <laughs> lemonade stand this Wednesday coming up. So that's gonna be awesome. And, um, and then every last Monday of the month, we're at Harlem Nights. Um, it's comedy and Ask Auntie mm-hmm. questions and answers. So and the comedians are usually so funny. It's like really a fun night. So, and they have a happy hour. August 28th is the next one. Yes. Oh, and day then after my birthday. we have one the end of September. Yeah. Yeah. But August 28th is the next one. So that's a <laughs> fun August night. 28th. Yeah. 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 <laughs> come to that one. Come to that one. If you need something to do for your birthday, come hang mm-hmm. out with the aunties, girl. Okay. Mm-hmm. We're pretty funny, I must yeah. say. You guys doing like a brunch yeah. party or something like that? <laughs> we know how to have a good time. Yeah. Seriously. Seriously. Yeah. Okay, Just your... take an Uber. <laughs> Don't drive. What's your social media handles? <laughs> well, if you guys need advice, drop us a line at hashtag askauntie.com. <laughs> I'm looking because you know I can't see, girl. Well, it would be um, too they and are. so, um, they are. listen. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to spell it for you, have fun. <laughs> At hashtag askauntie.com is H A S H T H E, ask A S K auntie, A U N T I E dot com. <laughs> And you can also follow Instagram. us at yeah. You can follow us at um, hashtag ask auntie on Instagram, hashtag ask auntie on Twitter, hash um, <coughs> excuse me um ask Snapchat underscore, underscore auntie right uh, on, on Snapchat. Snapchat ask underscore right. You know I gotta learn they gotta learn bullshit. that <laughs> they gotta teach me how to use that Snapchat. Oh, I like the Snapchat. That filter Snapchat's serious. Yes. Won't let nobody be That's... my friend. <laughs> Well, I've got about we'll seven friends. Friend. I have seven okay, friends. Okay, good. Like, so now I have nine. <laughs> yeah. So I have two. <laughs> the kids don't want to be our friends. I know, it's bad. It's They'll be bad. like, oh, no. no. Follow them on Snapchat. And um, you can follow me personally at um, on Instagram at Ask Auntie Landa on Instagram. Um, I'm Ask Auntie Landa on Twitter. Mm-hmm. And um, Yolanda Ask Auntie Williams on Facebook. And I'm hashtag Ask Auntie Wendy on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, everything. Mm-hmm. You'll find us. Just yes. hashtag us. You'll find <laughs> us. <laughs> Just be like, we're the little loud auntie that drink that wine. But I wonder if you put that shit in the search. I'll I pop know, up. Probably. Loud auntie that drink wine. <laughs> Just put the wine bottle emoji. You come up. I'll be like, Hash, hashtag Ask Auntie Landa. <laughs> But seriously, if you really do have a question or need advice, just drop us a line. And we really because we do really answer. do try to answer mm-hmm. all the questions. And even if we can't get to the questions on our show, we do send responses to the right. questions mm-hmm. online. Mm-hmm. So because people really do need advice. And I'll be like, okay, oh, she'll be like, sis, don't say that because you don't want them to kill themselves. 
little bitch, oh, don't kid yourself, but you asking my opinion. <laughs> right. <laughs> she's she's the very abrupt auntie. Like what? Pretty you said much. what? Girl, quit him. <laughs> That'd be her solution every day. Girl, quit him. Girl, quit we ain't gonna talk for that. He playing around with you. Quit his ass. Sorry. <laughs> no. So is it an upcoming season or how often do the episodes come yes. out? Yes. Well, um, we're now. Um, we just shot season three. And um, it should be coming out soon. Okay. So we're really, really excited. So um, keep in touch. It'll be dropping very, very soon. And you guys are going to be very pleased. Oh, I'm yeah. excited. Only on CentricTV.com? Or? Um, no. Well, uh, it's um, Facebook, oh, okay. YouTube. Uh, yes, yeah, YouTube you, is, yeah. is, mm-hmm. is everywhere. Okay. Um, no. We've decided to do something other than Centric. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. But we're still, you know, with Centric, but we okay. decided to do something separate. Okay. From okay. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Mm-hmm. They're in the middle of sort of like a transition, so it was taking too long in between our seasons. Yeah. So, you know, you don't want to sort of lose the momentum yeah, right. that you kind of built up in mm-hmm. the rapport with people. So we had to do something a little bit off. To back to our and if another one of somebody started. call me or text me like I have a question until then I was like well shit we gotta hurry up yeah <laughs> but everybody can be asking me these damn questions <laughs> they can answer these questions online yeah yeah first. yeah so so we so. shot this independently we went back to like our original roots and my oh. daughter because she's in TV and production and everything so we just did it like we gotta right. get this out here so. Well, since you um, find themselves. So you should enjoy it. I think you're going to enjoy it. I'm excited. It. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> but come to the lemonade stand. Yes. Y'all should come. It's in Harlem. You it's yes. in Harlem. Okay. So my son. We came to Brooklyn. Bakery. <laughs> right, right. We came to Brooklyn. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. And it's going to be fairly early, so it's okay. not, you know, it's like after work type hours okay. or whatever. So okay. the train yeah. is right there. <laughs> It's five from five to, to ten. Five to ten. Five yeah. to ten. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. To kill a lemonade. To kill a lemonade. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we're actually launching our um our line our of merchandise and stuff. Merchandise like and stuff. Like yeah. So pins, yeah. The tees. Oh. Yeah. The tees have uh, specific funny quotes, mm-hmm. things that have been said. Um, you know, on the show, so yeah. like yeah. some bullshit I said yeah. specifically, like some bullshit <laughs> Fran said about your coochie. Oh no. Tope. <laughs> It's more like taupe. <laughs> but I, think, I think my coochie is pink. No, and, and Auntie Fran clearly corrected us. And no, it's, it's probably more like, more like taupe. a taupe. <laughs> Haters. <laughs> so that kind of merchandise will be on sale and like yes. the pins and things like that. Okay. But more so, too, is just to come out, have a cocktail with us. We're happy about season three, and we just want people to like come out and, right. and revel in that with exactly. us. Right. Yeah. Awesome. Mm-hmm. I'm so happy. And if not, then come to last Monday's at Harlem Nights. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, ladies, so much. Thank you, Thank you so welcome. much for having so us. Much fun. <laughs> we enjoyed this so much. I know. Y'all was so much fun. Thank yes. Too. I hope y'all not driving. It. No. no. <laughs> Don't even have my license. We done got Seriously? Never got my permit. Girl, bye. <laughs> I don't drive either, girl, so it's okay. I'm Miss Daisy. I don't care. I'm the driver. I just be like, come get me. Get my Uber. That's it. Okay. Everywhere. That's my Uber right there. Come get me. <laughs> <laughs> you in the city, you don't have to drive. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? If you was in Atlanta, yeah. you would have to drive. Yeah, but you in New it. York, you don't have to drive. You good. Good. And I'm not I like to do this. She'll come get you. She Atlanta likes to drive. <laughs> Don't tell me that, but Atlanta girl. She's all over. Auntie, Auntie, remember me? I was in Brooklyn earlier today, girl. She was here. This is her second trip to Brooklyn for the day. Oh, my God. I get surround. I get surround. (laughs) All right, ladies. Thank you again so much. This was so much fun. Shout out to the sound engineer. Shout out to Brandon. Brandon, you're the bomb. We love you, Brandon. (laughs) Ladies, thank you for having us. Thank you for coming. Until the next time, cheers to you, ladies. Cheers. Woo! That's okay. Oh, Cheers. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. But he won't seriously.